what, what, what can I do for you, Rod? You just tell me what can I do for you. It's a very personal, very important thing. Hell, it's a family model. Are you ready, Jim? I'm ready. Just want to make sure you're ready, brother. Here it is. Show me the money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been known to come up, run into the ones, go yeah. Boy, I got that one up, hustle when the funds yeah. low Sunday, yeah. I'm the sun up, all I want is the cash Now, yeah. homie, run me the stash, run put the it. ones in run the bag Now, count up, count up, count up, count up I'm talking one milli, two milli, three milli, four billy, five billy, I'm ill. I've been on the come up, Ca- count money till my thumbs hurt, no bird man, bitch, but I'm a stunner. Just, just watch how you run up. I keep a couple gunners, I've been grinding all winter just to flex all over summer shit. Wrist cold when I fall through, rose go to my arm, boo. In and out of my city, but c- come whenever I call you. Who gon' love me more than when I'm stacking out on tour? The most that made it past security, they not. Knocking on my door, uh, you gon' be there when they gone. Show yeah. my love by getting more yeah. hustle, so you ain't alone. Yeah, you yeah. won't leave me, that's for sure. I'm yeah. talking Benji's, yeah. Franklin's, all these hundos on my floor. I just broke a couple bands, believe me, I've been going hard. I'm tipping bottle after bottle, swerving model after model. Who won't cash? That's the model. Yeah. Spending like I hit the lotto, yeah. I'm loving my life, I know that I ain't shit without you. Actions yeah. speak louder than words, they broke cause they just talk about you, huh? I've been known to come up, run into the ones, go. Yeah. Boy, I got that one. Up, hustle when the funds low yeah. Sunday on the sun up All I want is the cash Now yeah. homie run me the stash Put the ones in the bag Now count up Count up Count up Count up I'm talking one milli, two milli, three milli, four billy, five billy, I'm ill. Money bag after money bag, I'm the man now. Play the cards that I was dealt and I ain't need no handouts. Fresh on every set, get respect, mama out of debt. I got a new connect, we the best, homie run the check. Wifey got a new bag, new, new house, you, you mad? We just doing us, feeling wavy, fuck a do rag. This that no stress flow, bobbing on my ex. Oh, she don't love cash, kiss my ass. That's baby XO, yeah. thank you for that line, Mr. West, but I'm next, though. Hey, you meet a sad bitch, I'm blessed, sipping next, so. For the love of money, money. I stay fucking hungry. Uh. I parted ways with the kitchen, that just wasn't it's for me. Shit. Every show they love me, now I'm showing love back. They, they ain't taking nothing from me, so I throw a couple stacks. Yeah. You win them in your town, have some fun, blow a bag. Yeah. with me when I'm around, trust me, shorty, I'll be back, yeah. huh? Yeah. I've been on the come up, running to the ones, go. Boy, I got that one. Up. Hustle when the funds low Sunday on the sun up All I want is the cash Now homie run me the stash Put the ones in the bag Now count up Count up Count up Count up, count up. I'm talking one milli Two milli Three milli Four billy Five billy I'm illy Yay, yay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Alphabet's Football Show. I am your host, Marcus the Alphabet's, where we take you on about a one and a half hour to two hour long journey to discuss our favorite sport in the whole wide world, which is football. Uh, but first things first, I'd like to introduce my lovely co host. I call her Miss Bruce Willis. Because she's diehard. Mona, I can't share the show. I can't put it in no groups or nothing. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, uh, link. I so hope everybody. I, I think we had, where we went to a private group, you're not able to do that because that's the only group I actually share it to. So I, I okay. should be able to send you a link, though. What, what's going on, Q-Ball? How you doing, man? Good to see you out there. I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh What's today? Today's like the night. We got a week 16, until Christmas. 16. The 16th. We got nine days until Christmas. So we will have one more show before Christmas. Uh, please like and share the show, everybody. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to, to discuss. We got three Saturday games. We got to talk about Mr. Brock Purdy. 
you know, some people are already ready to put him in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Mona, how you doing? You doing all right? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. You did. You did. I can complain, but who's going to listen, right? Hey, what do they say? 80%, what is it? 80% don't care in the other 20. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. It's a saying like that, but it's like some don't listen. The other 80 don't care, are rooting that you're, that you're having a worse day. So, yeah, you know, so uh, I hope everybody's doing all right this evening. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit, little bit of football stuff that's going on. Uh, get all of those. Those gifts yeah, out there. I think you should say that because you know I, I do think that there are a lot of people out there who are, have miserable lives or whatever, and so they just hope everybody else is too. And I'm totally opposite. I actually do have a miserable life right now. <laughs> you know, floor collapsing, having to replace that you know, right right before Christmas kind of thing. But yeah. you know what? I wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful Merry Christmas. You know, and, and I hope that they're going to have family and friends around. And, you know, I, I just I don't want anybody to have to go through hard times just because I am. Yeah, it's 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 tough. You know, it's it's really tough. But, I you know, I hope everybody <laughs> is doing OK. I hope everybody is, uh, you know, if, even if you're not able to. Uh, you know, saying the same thing, looking like OBJ might end up a cowboy. No, oh, it's gonna. It's it's you know. I, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna happen. Uh, thanks for the love on the uh, on the design of the shirt. If you want one, you know what? Since you lost a, another shirt bet, cue ball. Go ahead and shoot your boy twenty five dollars, and I'll send you one. I think it is. I'll send it since he, since since he lost that bet. You know, um, and it won't be yellow. I mean, no, nah, I I could probably do per. I could probably do purple for you. Purple, you know, purple since we. Since we beat y'all purple and blue. But uh anyways, um, so 40 to 3. Uh so um what what first things first, we'll talk about that uh Monday night game. Uh yeah, we'll, we'll skip the Sunday scores. We'll just go to the Monday night game. The 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 Cardinals are terrible. They're really bad. They're really bad. I think it starts with the head coach. <laughs> I think you know we talk about some of the we talk about some of the coaches that are on the hot seat. You all said that's a deal. Shoot, shoot, shoot me a shoot me a cash app, man, and I'll and I'll send you one, man. Just buy a shirt. That's just buy a shirt, and you're good, man. I, I still want to send you a shirt because I I want to see you when we, when, we, when we'll get you something purple, man. I could probably I could probably make that happen. Hell, I'm making black and orange ones for uh, Bengals fans if y'all hadn't seen that. So. Uh, Mac Jones, what I, you know, what I expect, Mac, they got to get this kid some weapons, man. They really got to they... it. Listen, look, Mac Jones was wonderful in college, but he had weapons. He had a running back. He had receivers. Uh, he had a great O-line. Um, Bill check and not draft receivers we know this he has to use free agency to get wide receivers uh but he does really good usually with tight ends uh running backs you know um so hey bill maybe hire somebody besides what's it who is it is it patricia matt, yeah matt patricia is a terror yes you know, a I, I wish i would have got the video he was actually calling the play and matt jones looked at him and he was like like I'm not even. Thank I'm not you, even dog. Cleve Kingsbury is done in Arizona. I yeah, think he's, so too. He's pretty. Think he's pretty. Is he? Is he? Is he the first one to go? Is he on the hottest of hot? We the guys that we pretty much knew. Uh, Matt Rule, we knew he was pretty much out of there. Is there anybody else besides Kingsbury that we're just like this guy's out of here, man? And the bad thing, and the bad thing with Kingsbury is with Kyler with Kyler Murray. But here's the thing. Kingsbury had a terrible coaching record in college. He had a losing record in college. And then he comes in. Well, I want Kyler Murray. Now y'all are kind of stuck with Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray probably and already paid him. You already, already paid him. him. And then he's probably not coming till ha halfway through next year because he got hurt at the end of this year. Yeah. So, you know, I just hope that Mac Jones, I hope that somehow, some way that they we were so they, stuck. On Kyler Murray when he first came into the league, you talked about Kyler Murray all the time. What, what I, I, I made this statement. I said, 
first two years as a rookie quarterback coming into the league, I take their play with a grain of salt because once there is video on these guys, then teams can, you know, uh, plan against playing against you. You know, it's it's all about the game planning and who is doing the game planning. Uh, Matt Canada, you're out of here. Um, I think this is his. I think I think he's done in Pittsburgh. I really do. Um, but I I do not immediately just jump on the bandwagon of a of a Purdy's doing really good right now. But I'm not going to jump on his bandwagon until he's been in the league for a couple of years and teams have film on him that take an actual game plan against him. I, when when Kyler Murray came in, I said I have one. I said I have one doubt he's about him. He's he's small. He's small. Yeah. He's he's a small guy, and that's the same issue I had with Baker Mayfield. I said I'm going to try to give him a chance, but there's a reason why when they they with certain with every position. I give them two years. I give them two years. Um, if you're not starting to show me some success in those first two years, and it's not got anything to do with uh, you know teams not having video on you. I was calling Mayfield a bust long before anybody was. Two years. I gave him two years. On that second year, halfway through the season, I said, you know what? This is another bust for the Cleveland Browns. That's exactly what I said. I don't know that Deshaun Watson's going to turn out and be what they thought he was going to be. I think he's been out of, the, out of the game too long. But we'll see what happens with him. I will give him a full season, not this season, a full season next year, 2023. He's got to show me something in 2023. Or the Cleveland Browns screwed up again, and they're stuck. Uh, I, Deshaun, what, I'm talking about players that have never showed you anything, really. They've never really showed you. They have no playoff victories. Let's not forget, Deshaun Watson beat the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs. He beat them in the playoffs. With the Houston Texans. And he turned around and got beat the very next week. Okay. And, and, and that was, what, his second year after he and, tore his wasn't, eight- wasn't that Josh Allen's first year? Or was it his second season? That was his second year. Okay. That was whenever they, they actually made it to the – no, what was that, 2019? Yeah, that was his second year. That was okay. his second – that was his second – because the past – In his first season, he didn't play a full season. Yes. So, I don't have – I really – I think Deshaun Watson's success is going to come next year. I don't th- really think you see – I think with a full – Well, I think that you look at that team and the players that are getting paid and the players who are going to be wanting to get paid, I think Cleveland could be in trouble next year. Well, I mean, they're probably going to – they're prob- more than likely they'll probably lose Kareem Hunt. But you got you, you got in Joku, who you just paid. You right. just paid Amari Cooper. You just pay. You still got Nick Chubb. Their offensive line still good. You've already paid Miles. Well, Garrett. you got Nick Chubb, who is being he seems to seems the injury back seems to hit him more often now. That's true, but I mean they got they still got some. They still got Dearness Johnson, uh, Dearness Johnson over here who covered down for them. I think they're. I, I mean, think they're going to. They're still the Cleveland Browns, so they got to prove something to me. Okay, uh, so you, we had Thursday night football last night. Um, 49ers, they clinched the NFC West 21 uh, 13. And the score, I don't really think the score is really indicative of how dominant they were in that game. They got a garbage time to, I think it was, they had scored two field goals. It was like 21 to six. And then I think that they scored that touchdown late. And by then they had, it was like the fourth quarter. They just kind of, eh. you know, the game was, it was over. It was really more of a dominant, dominant. They, they had scored. Uh, they had they had pretty much handled their business most of the game. So, um, Brock Purdy looked great. George Kittle looked incredible. Christian McCaffrey looked incredible. And I, I was on another yeah, show. with George Kittle, and you know we talk about it with Nick Bosa. We talk about it with you know players throughout the NFL. He's he's great when he's one hundred percent healthy. He is a great player. He's a great but player. He, he, got, he doesn't stay healthy. Yeah, you know, he's and same thing with Christian McCaffrey. I mean, that was the that was the um, 
Well, I think the Pirates of the Carolina Panthers were not playing him correctly. I, I, to- I totally agree. But, you know, people are, are, you know, they're already trying to put Brock Purdy in the Hall of Fame. And I'm like, dude, he's playing with a – I don't know if people know the difference between a pro bowler and an all pro. Christian McCaffrey is an all pro. George Kittle, all pro. Trent Williams, all pro. Nick Bosa, all pro. Fred Warner, all pro. Uh, Purdy is put in a great situation and is making him look really great. I just believe that he's been out there for a couple of weeks, and he's a he's a good player. I don't want to take anything away from him, but backups I want to are backups. handling the pressure. Is what I backups want. are backups for a reason. And when you start going, th- you know, three or four weeks down the road, and people start game planning for you, and people start okay, they start seeing your tendencies, then yeah. we'll see. Now, I, I don't want to take anything away from the kid. I think it's a wonderful story, Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick in the draft. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, uh, they're in the playoffs now. In the, towards the end of the season, to, say, get your get your alphabets football show hoodies, guys. And t shirt, and t shirt, and t shirt. I can t shirt, long sleeve t shirt. I, I I'm just really focused on the hoodies because it's a little cold outside. They're really comfortable. Soft. Should the Seahawks be panicking right now? I don't. I, Listen, I, I didn't believe they were going to go very far if, if they make the playoffs. But I don't I, – I think they need a couple of key position players. I don't think they're going to have to worry – maybe they do, you know, draft a quarterback in 2023, Dalton. But I think that – I think they're – right now, I think they're good with Geno. Uh, and I think there's some key positions that they need to fix on that on that team besides quarterback. I, I, they are in a great situation. If they're not that great, this if they may squeak into the playoffs this year, they might even do. I, I don't know how far they'll go in the playoffs, but they are set up beautifully. Considering but playing against that 49ers, listen, Dalton, playing against that 49ers who just beat the Miami Dolphins, I, I think that. Uh, we got to start giving some credit where credit's due with the 49ers. No no doubt about it. And you got to also look at they get the Broncos draft pick, which is like number two or three right now. They got the they got the Broncos from that from that Russell Wilson trade, the number two or number three pick. What what do they really need? I mean, you just drafted, I think they're set at running back with Kenneth Walker. I think they're set at wide receiver with uh, with with um, DK with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Um, they, I like the cornerback that they just got. I like Kobe Bryant, the the corner Kobe Bryant, w- Woolen or w- Woolen or whatever, six foot four cornerback. They got some pieces over there, and then you have the number two or number three pick, and you're a playoff team probably. They'll probably sneak in at the seventh spot at at, uh, at number seven. So, I mean, there's there's some some hope over there for them. I I like what they're putting together over there. Let me see. Reason why I asked, they lost to Bucks in Germany, lost to Raiders, barely beat Rams, lost to Panthers, and lost to the 49ers. Okay. They lost to the Bucks, the defending Super Bowl champion. They lost to the Raiders. Okay. The Raiders loss was bad. Rams division. Uh, the Bucks were not defending Super Bowl champions. The Bucks. Who was the Super Bowl champion last year? The Rams. I'm so that's right. That's right. That's right. That's I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I mean, look, you have we I allow people stinkers sometimes. So you lost to the Rams, you lost losing to the 49ers is not is not a disgrace. You lost to the Rams. Losing to the Bucks really is not a disgrace because at that at that time of the year they were still pretty healthy. They, they were they were you know the, their their defense was pretty good. You're still playing against Tom Brady. Now, like I said, the the Seahawks are going to be okay. They right now as it st- as it stands right now, and this is all uh, you know fluid. They would have the number two or number three pick with that. So they got their their. I think they got two first round picks. They got their pick, and then they got the Broncos pick. And the Broncos pick is going to be 
at the worst, probably a top five pick because I don't know if Russell Wilson plays again this year. So the Seahawks, they're going to be fine. I think they'll be better next year. You know, it depends. I don't know what they're going to do with the whole Geno Smith. And, and thing. let's also keep let's keep it real about the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers are winning games that really people know didn't think they were going to win, even after they lost McCaffrey, uh, even after they you know. Got rid of the what was it the general manager? So, uh, well, that yeah, that general manager he he uh, the the thing that the thing you know the thing that was the final straw for that the uh, Panthers GM right bringing in I, Baker Mayfield. I was going to say probably bringing in the the Baker they, Mayfield they, and, and Sam Darnold. That's that that was the the straw the straw for them. So that is uh, definitely a team who gets a quarterback in the in. If oh, no doubt game. about it. No doubt. No doubt about it. So congratulations to the 49ers. Uh, you know, they they beat the unstoppable Miami offense last week. And then they, you know, to beat, you know, the Seahawks have been playing pretty good ball. And uh, so congratulations to them. I, I'm really interested to see what Brock Purdy does going forward. It's an incredible story. So uh, that was our, you know, Monday and Thursday game. So news and notes. Uh, we... You know, there was a few things that happened this week. Not not a lot of news. You know, no, there's quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, slides, actually. so the NFL is going to review the roughing the pass thing. I look that that roughing the passer is uh roughing yeah, the passer. We were up and down on. We were wait wait a minute, Jay. We were not up and down on Miami losing to the Niners on the road. We said. Miami was going to lose that game on the road in San Francisco. How, how am I backtracking when I said that you were going to lose? How, how am I backtracking? I, you said that you're off. What are they going to do with our offense? I said your offense is unstoppable. Your offense hasn't faced a defense like that. Your offense has. hasn't faced a defense like that. They're going to play a physical style of ball, and they're going to get after your quarterback. How am I backtracking when I picked the when I picked the 49ers to, to win that game? I said, you guys have gotten used to play. I go, if you're having problems with the Jets and you're having problems with the Bengals, what are you going to do with the 49ers? Well, and, the, and the thing is, is I, I will say this about the Jets. The Jets defense is much better than people give that defense credit. I was never I was never up and down. I told you. Uh, that's why you're uh, you don't remember. That's why your uh, profile picture got changed, because I told you from the jump street that y'all were going to that you want you want me to make another prediction. So you're so you're not saying that I'm I'm going back and forth. You're going to lose to the bills tomorrow, too. Going to lose to the bills tomorrow, too. I, I you know, I usually like to wait till the end of the show to make my predictions. You're going to lose to the bills. tomorrow. You're going to lose to the bills. They're going to be pissed off tomorrow. Uh, Tyree Kill is hobbled. Jalen Waddle's hobbled. J- Jeff Wilson Jr.'s uh, he's not playing. So you know, I, I'll make an early prediction. You know, we're going to still do picks here, but you're going to lose tomorrow too. I don't backtrack track on anything. I pretty much called it, and I made a wager with you on a profile pick, a profile pick bet. So NFL to review r- the roughing the passer. They need to because some of the some. He put all of his body weight on him as he tackled him. Like, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get somebody to the ground. It's kind of hard when you're going down to the ground and you're trying to catch yourself. I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, trying no, to- no, no, no. Listen, listen. This NFL to review roughing the passer, roughing the passer calls on defenseless hits could be reviewable or an automatic ejection. I don't agree. I do not agree with the automatic ejection, period. This is a physical football game. This this is a physical game. People are going to get hit. Sometimes, sometimes a linebacker, a safety, is just not able to pull up in time from hitting the quarterback. But if that quarterback's got the ball in his hands, he you should be able to hit him as hard as the hell you want. And if you've got the ball, you can. It's legal. I... I I have more of a problem with the defenseless the, with the defenseless player. I look, I I think that leading with the crown of your helmet, of course, I have an issue with that. But when you when a guy is trying to catch a touchdown pass and you are trying to blast him to disjar him 
from the ball, I don't have an issue with that. To keep him from catching a touchdown. Mel Blunt didn't think, have an issue with that either. And that's Mel Blunt was one a, of the key ter reasons. Terrible, ter terrible, terrible. Um, now, with the quarterbacks, I mean, I get it when they're in the act of throwing. I don't really like it when they go low on quarterbacks, you know, going to the quarterback's head or whatever. But when you're in the pocket and guys are you're, guys are trying to – they're trying to get to your quarterback. That, I mean, that's why we pay these pass rushers so much money. So they're going to review it in March. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, I have my own thoughts on that. Uh, $295 million update on, on AT&T Stadium. Uh, Jerry Jones had said. Hey, you know, good to see you. Uh, they had said that, uh, you know, Jerry was so impressed with SoFi Stadium. He's like, we're going to make some. I mean, you're already talking about a stadium that's this pretty high tech. AT and T well, they're, they're, and they're doing this in preparation for the 2026 World Cup. Yeah, yeah, but he he also said that he loved he went to SoFi Stadium. He was really impressed with that, and to impress Jerry Jones, that's a pretty big thing. A hundred million up, upgrade for uh, to empower field at Maha Stadium. Well, y'all get to improve on your stadium for the Broncos are going to be terrible for a few years. Sorry about that, Autumn. Uh, and Consuelo, I, I really, Russell Wilson, I, I I don't know if he plays again this year, but I hope this offseason he gets it together. And, you know, I, I just think he's kind of, I don't know what the whole family thing, Sierra's pregnant again. and But anyway, I hope that, I hope that you know, <laughs> y'all are upgrading y'all stadium. Y'all better upgrade y'all's y'all's team because he's not playing this week. And I think Brett Ripien is starting this week. So, uh, yeah, that'll be real fun. Uh, like we said earlier, congratulations to the, to the 40 Dodgers, NFC West champs. You know, they're a problem. I have so much respect for this team. I, you know, being a Cowboys fan, I have always not liked the 49ers. Shout out to my boy T, T, uh, Tito. We've been going at this for 20 years, you know, going well, back. Being, being a Steeler fan and, you know, all of us having five Super Bowls there for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never was a Niners fan either. I, yeah, you know, everybody knows how I feel about the Cowboys. Yeah, Although lately I seem to defend players on the team. Yeah. They got, they got a they got a really good team, and what Brock Brock what Brock Purdy's doing. Hey, Ronnie, team, good to see you. Absolutely incredible. So congratulations to them. Uh, Eagles clinched last week. Yep. Uh, and you know. You, you notice it says they didn't clinch the division. It that that Cowboys team. Eagles game. On Christmas Eve, it's going to be huge. That's that is going to be a game because that I will be a, the game of the day. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. So congratulations, you know they they clinched, but they didn't clinch the division. And there's a lot of we got what four games left to play, and there's going to be a lot. I like that they put the divisional games at the end of the year because these teams can't take they can't tank. You know, they got to actually go out there and play. So yeah. here's all the teams that it, it, this is going to change drastically this week. You're going to see a lot of teams this week come off of this list. These are the teams yeah. that are still alive. And then uh, here's These are the uh, ones who, if they win, they clinch. They can clinch this week. So yeah. we'll, well, we'll the 49ers see. already clinched. So. Yeah, they already. Yeah, this is this came out right before uh, last night. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, teams that can be eliminated this week, uh, you know. So you gotta, you gotta win. Who y'all play this week, Mona? Y'all play Carolina. Carolina. Y'all play Carolina this week. So and that's not a gimme. Yeah, it's not a gimme. So you know, you gotta go. You gotta go win. You gotta. You gotta go win. So well, I mean, we don't even know who's going to be the quarterback this week. So it's either yeah. it's either going to be Mitch or it's going to be Mason. No, well, you're so playing Mitch against three interceptions inside the damn red zone. Yeah, or, you know. Major well, you're playing. You're, you're playing against Sam Darnold. I'll 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 take my chances with Pittsburgh. Y'all are playing Sam Darnold. So, uh, what do we got next here? Uh, from eliminated week two, buddy. Uh, Debo Samuel. He's expected to return. You know, he was out. He didn't play last night. Uh, one of my. I'm not a 49ers fan, but I am a Debo fan. D Debo Samuels fan. Uh, and you know. I won't say that they didn't miss him last night, but they they were okay. And I, you saw more targets going to uh, uh, Kittle. I mean, Kittle got that. That's the most targets I seen him getting. Brandon Ayuk looked like crap last night. 
Dewan Jennings, I think his name, he had a pretty good game too. And then Christian McCaffrey showed his ass. So uh, he's an X factor. There's not, there's not another player like Debo. I, I just, you know, they call him a lot. I don't, see, I just, I don't, because I don't think they really missed him that bad. That's like, what I'm saying. He's a, he's, he's, he's the dude is a. I don't know. I don't call him an X factor. To me, an X factor is if he's out, they don't win. Like T.J. Watt is the X factor for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Period. We know this. When he's out, we don't win. Well, how about this? He's the dude is dying. I'll say this: he's dynamic. We don't have a, a a lot of players like him. Yep. Because of what he does for that team, you line him up all over the field. And as I think offensive. if he was in the game last night, they win that game thirty-eight to whatever. Yeah, they they won because there's. It's hard to match up for him, uh, hard to match up with him. Uh, Kyler Murray out for the season, you know, and that's tough for him because, you know, I was watching the show the other day. They're like, he relies so much on his legs because he's short, you know. So he, he, he his legs have got to be good. And, you you know, you tear your 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 ACL for him for somebody who relies on their mobility. Plus, he's short. So, you know, I, I just hope – I think, you know, we just talked about it earlier, Cliff Kingsbury. I think he gets fired. If you're a coach coming in, you're a new coach coming in, like you're going to have to work. With, you're not going to get your own co- quarterback. You're going to have to be – part of the job description is going to be like, do I want to Do I wanna coach Kyler Murray? You know, so you got to – you got, you know, that's that, that's tough. I hate to see that. Uh, your guy Wormley, he's he's he uh, that's a big loss. he's out for the that's season, big, big loss. he's out for the season. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, we were talking about maybe y'all getting uh, somebody in the draft, you know, uh, maybe Cam Cam Hayward's replacement. You signed this guy, Ola Aden- 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 I've been trying to learn how to pronounce his name all day. Um, and we'll see what he does. Um, if he can put a little bit of heat on uh, on Sam, on Sam Darnold. I like uh, his number, but he ain't no James Harrison. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, Cowboys right tackle out for the year. This kid was really, uh, he's really played well. A lot of people were upset when they got rid of layout Collins. They're like, we're going to put this kid out there. This kid has really been playing well from my kind of alma mater, Texas Tech. Uh, Pat Patrick Mahomes is um, alma mater. This kid, he's playing well, and so he's out for a year. And the thing that sucks, he tore his tore his ACL and his PCL. So uh, he, he, he may be out. Yeah, he he, he's gonna he's lot. probably he's probably gonna be year and a half, maybe. yeah he's yeah he'll he's he's probably gonna miss some of next year too. So uh, this 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 week they're talking about Tyron Smith starting at right tackle. Cowboys signed T Y Hilton. I think this is a great signing. Uh, you know, the whole, you know, we we saw the whole uh soap opera with the Odell Beckham Jr. thing. You got a guy, he's an older guy, 33, 34 years old, former pro bowler, uh, with the Indianapolis Colts. Doesn't have to come in, doesn't have to be a number one, just fit in. Michael Gallup, CD Lamb, you know, I think this helps the whole receiving court. I yeah. think the T.Y. Hilton signing is the absolute best thing that happened. Could I happen for Dak Prescott? Yeah. Because now you've got T.Y. Hilton, who doesn't have the pressure of being a number one, oh. who who is going to get open and who is going to help Dak Prescott out tremendously. And in doing that, he's going to start helping kind of garner some of that, not really, not really double coverage, but you're going to have to play a little off and not actually be playing double on City Lamb and yeah. – um, Michael Gallup. Gallup. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why I have a problem with Michael Gallup's name. And you still got to worry about that. You still got to worry about that run game because they, they will run the ball. They will run the ball at you. So I think this is a great signing. You know, coming in, and this doesn't this doesn't prevent them from going to get an OBJ. No, Jerry Jones is saying they are signing OBJ. It's this this, pro- this probably going to happen. You know, it's this kind of a match that's made. I think Odell Beckham Jr. But you know, no one's willing to really take that that risk, you know, and give him this big contract. And, and he, like he, he won't be on. He won't be released for long. Somebody's going to pick him up. I thought Damian Williams, 
Patrick, the year that Patrick Mahomes won the Super Bowl MVP, I thought he should have been the Super Bowl MVP. That game I he played with Kansas City, I thought so too. he was he was incredible. I don't know what the it's just the Atlanta Falcons are really bad. So I don't the know. Change of helps a lot of people, and I think when he left KC and went to a no nonsense, just a not a great team, you know. Yeah. So, you know, some of those uh, playoff teams there, you know, maybe, maybe you know, that need a running back, maybe that's the guy you look at. The Desmond Britter era has begun. Uh, so we'll see. You know, they said um, Marcus Mariota just skipped town. <laughs> they said he just left the team. So, you know, I, I like to see, you know, you're, you're not really going anywhere. Um. So you start you play the play the kids. Let's see what the kid has got. Now he looks like a seasoned veteran. He's like 23 or 24. The dude looks like he's like 46, 47, but you know, he's you know, he's a rookie. And you know, they they thought a little bit of him. So, you know, we've seen some of these other rookies start. We see Brock Purdy starting. We see Kenny Pickett starting. Uh, let's see what the kids got. You know, he played very well at uh, University of Cincinnati. So We'll see what the kids got this week. I'm really interested to see what he does because the the Falcons do have you know they got they got some you know Drake London and 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 uh, you know well they had Kyle Pitts and you still got Cordero Patterson. So I want to see what this what this guy's got. I, so. I thought Marietta was put on injury reserve. He 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 was, but he skipped he's kicked town. He ain't trying to rehab or nothing. So I. I don't know if he was put on injured reserve. He was hurt, yes, but he, he wasn't was put on injured. He was absolutely put on injury reserve. Was he? Well, he, yeah. he skipped uh, he's, December the 14th. Okay. Yeah, he, he skipped town. He They said he just kind of got upset. You know, normally, even when you're in IR, you still report and get, you know, your, you know, get your rehab or whatever. They say he just left the team. So, um, so we'll see what the kids no, he, got. He didn't leave the team. He's slated to have surgery on his knee next week. Uh, yeah, they said I was reading a report. They said he left the team. He was upset. And Arthur Smith said he just left the team. We couldn't find the guy. So huh. I don't I don't yeah, know. I didn't read that. So yeah, um, he, he 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 seemed like he was a little bit upset. So we'll we'll see I what happens. I always believe what I read from certain websites. I just don't. Yeah. So good luck to Desmond Ritter. We'll see we'll see what the kids I was getting do. my news from NFL.com. So well, yeah. Uh, Broncos eliminated. Like I said, I don't think that Russell Wilson, even if he were, uh, I just think that they shut him down. They they just need to do a whole reset over there. Sorry. Um, and you know, it's just maybe Pete Carroll knew something that we didn't. Oh, I told you that, and you asked me. You asked me before we actually got Mitch Trubisky if I would take him, and I told you I did not want him. You, you did say that. You said I hard pass. So yes, Russell Wilson. I hope this off season he's able to get his body back together. They put some pieces around them, you know. Now they did lose Devontae Williams, you know, but you you had Cortland Sutton, you had Jerry Judy, who's playing a little bit better. Yeah, Albert, Jerry, oh. no, there, there's another guy who, you know. From Bama, who, when he got into the NFL, can stay healthy. But I'm going to tell you something. I still feel, and I will say this to I'm blue in the face, that some of these big-name college uh, players, a lot of these guys come out of college and they're already used up by the time they hit the NFL. Yeah. I I, I always liked Jerry Judy. Um, I did, too. Uh, that – that uh, Alabama wide receiver court a year he came out was just incredible. Uh, here's your 2023 free agent quarterbacks. There's a lot of, you know, we're going to get some clarity with the Lamar Jackson thing. I don't think that he plays on another tag. He's already said he's not interested in playing on a on another tag. Uh, Geno Smith, is he going to? Is he, you know, is Seattle, are they happy with him? Would they sign him to some type of deal? Um, you got a few, you got a few names on here. Cooper Rush, I think somebody, I think. And I, don't, is, I honestly don't, uh, somebody just said Brady will retire. I think it was Jay. Yeah. I, I do not think Brady will retire. 
I don't think Brady's going to retire either. Yeah. I think he. I think he. Now that he's I think out of all the quarterbacks in the league, I think he's probably as healthy as any of them. I I think he's going to look at. Now, do I think he's going to play with Tampa Bay next year? I don't know about that, but I think he would look at a team this this. Like he, he's going to go to a team. Could you see even San Fran going well, home? Well, I, I think I think San Francisco's very. Ha- They've got to find out about this whole Trey Lance thing. I, it, it, you know, you're going in a year. This that'll be year three with him. With with Trey Lance, you gave up two first round picks to get him. I just I don't know if I I don't know about that. I I I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. It, it's got to be a team that's already put together though. That's got a line. That's got some weapons. Got a, a coach that'll kind of let him do what he wants to do. I, and I don't know who that would be. I I really don't know who that would be. But I I don't think that he retires. Could could he go to a team like the Jets? I, I I don't know, you know, to go back and kick Belichick's ass twice a year, you know, <laughs> go, you know, go up there. The Jets, I mean, I don't think that the Jets are that far off. They got a running game. I they don't think the Jets are far off at all with Brees yeah. Hall and that other. That I mean, other little what, are, that they have. What, what are the Jets really missing? A quarterback. Are, a quarterback, you know, I, I just, you know. They they actually even have pretty decent offensive line protection for the quarterback. They got a decent offensive line. They got some weapons. Their defense is getting better. You wouldn't have to pay him a whole lot. You wouldn't have to give up draft picks for him. And with Salah, with that defense, he could just kind of focus on the defense. Brady right, somebody's kind of, clowning now. Could Tom Brady go to the Cowboys? They ain't getting rid of Prescott no, for Tom they're Brady. Not getting, they're not. But there, there's a lot. Is somebody going to pay Cooper Rush, you know? Uh, right. We got the game tomorrow. I see my guy Tank up in here. He's he's already talking. It's no game tomorrow. Uh, shout out to my guy Giuseppe. Uh, he sent he sent the uh, video into the Alphabet's Football Show uh, Facebook page. Uh, some live snow footage, uh, and they're talking about seven inches of snow tomorrow. So we're, we're going to see some of these guys. There's there's some injuries we, we're going to see about. I think Cole Beasley plays tomorrow. John Brown. They just resigned, uh, brought them back to the team. I don't know what's going to happen with Jeff Wilson Jr. Tyree Kills kind of banged up. We're going to do our picks here in a little bit on it. Uh, we're going to do our picks here on a little bit, so we'll see. But it's it's already snowing over there. I, don't I said the game's going to be moved to Carrier Dome. <laughs> I don't know that, that you know we were all surprised with that that Browns with that Browns game. So the we, biggest thing is is they're getting like the. the uh, what is it called? Lake Lake Snow Effect. Yeah. Uh, snow right now, it could dump like crazy tonight and all morning, yeah. and then you wouldn't even be able to see the bleachers. Yeah. Y'all might y'all might want to get some people working on that stadium because I mean the game is in less than twenty four hours. It's uh, <coughs> I think it said six o'clock Eastern time. They should have a bunch of big old heaters blowing out there right now. On that field right now. That's what they should have. Chubb will be a factor. We'll see. We'll see. But what about your unstoppable offense, though? That's what I want to what, – what about your unstoppable offense? That's what I want to know about. So. Who, who is Miami playing? Miami's okay. playing the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, they're, they're playing the Bills, right? Yeah. So why are we talking about Nick Chubb? No, he's talking about Bradley Chubb. Oh. Their okay. defensive end. Oh, yeah, Okay. So we'll we'll see what we got next here. Uh, Zach Wilson's going to start. Uh, Mike White was not medically cleared to play. So look, Zach Wilson, this is another chance. This might be this might be might be his last. last chance. Ch- this might be your last chance, dude. This might be your last chance. So he maybe just looks like such a little boy. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. I mean, he looks got to like, grow. Got to grow like up. He, he looks like he's 16, 17 years old. I don't know. Does he look younger than Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy looks like he's about fourteen years old. Brock Purdy is pretty. Yeah, yeah. he's he looks like he looks like he's a, a good looking kid. guy. <laughs> so good luck to Zach Wilson. We'll see, man. This might be <laughs> your your this might be your last chance, man. So you might want to go out there and 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 show something. Your number two pick in the draft, uh, Von Miller, giving a little bit of uh, props to. Uh, Micah Parsons, you change the Cowboys' whole defense, just one drop of Micah Parsons, and it goes crazy. Like one of the best defenses in the league. So, 
Uh, you know, real recognize real. I like the fact that, you know, he's, you know, this is Von Miller, future Hall of Famer. And uh, he was on, uh, Michael was on, on his podcast. He was on Von's podcast and they, they had a really good conversation. And, and uh, so we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, Michael Parsons got his work cut out for him because they better get after Trevor Lawrence. They look kind of stale last week. So um, I, I, th- I think that uh, they'll be ready. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So like Meek Mill says, no matter what you do, there's always levels to this. So as you know, we always do the uh, statistical leaders. There's that man up there. These are top five passing leaders. And he's just pulling away with it right now. Just, just, just run. Uh, and and but, but, just but, Mona, but Mona, he wasn't going to be anything without Tyreek Hill. Nothing. Oh, I know. I know. Not, I he was going to be absolutely nothing without Tyreek Hill. And I've heard, ju- I've heard Justin As Herbert. Mahomes was done at the beginning of the season. Right oh, now. yeah. And I heard that ju- Justin Herbert sucked. He yeah. sucked. He, he's, he's overrated. You know, Tom Brady, he's done, 45 years old. You know, it's like, come on, dude. Y- y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta y'all gotta stop. Patrick Mahomes is still that dude, okay? So just stop. Stop. He's 500, what, five, 400 yards? Nearly That's, 500 yeah, right yards. At, right at 400. Right at 400 uh, uh, next to, to Herbert with no Tyreek Hill. Y'all gotta stop it, man. Give the man his props, man. Give him, give him his props. The debate is over, bro. The, 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 the debate really is over. So these are your top five passing leaders. Here are your. Uh, and I don't know that Hurts is MVP. He's not even in the top five in passing leaders. Yeah, but that's I, not what all. What he does he, with his legs is is huge. He's a he's a dual threat quarterback. I think he's got. I think him and Mahomes can run too. He just doesn't look the greatest running. But no, he looks he looks kind of he looks kind of uh, he looks kind of awkward. But I think uh, Dalton, if you're out there, tell me how many yards that that Hertz has running. I bet he has at least about six or seven hundred yards rushing too. Yeah. So you you take the com, you know his total combined yards. Hey, you gotta, good to see you. You got to take that into consideration. So those are your top five passing leaders, and here are your hey David. Uh, these are your uh, re- uh, receiving leaders, Jay Jettas. I, I think he. I think I saw something. He's 130 yards away. And from Waddle him. finally dropped out of the top five. Yeah, that he. But look who jumped up into top five. Travis Kelsey, best tight end in the game. Bad, bad man. <laughs> Might go down as a top three tight end of all time. Yep. Uh, so you know. Justin Jefferson needs 133 yards to break Randy Moss's single season Vikings uh, receiving record. Devontae Adams still kicking up dust with with Derek Carr, who cost me $500 last week. And uh, yeah, and Stefan Diggs, uh, love what he's doing out there. I, I, I give credit where credit's due. Stefan Diggs is an incredible, he's an incredible uh, receiver. He's, he better be ready for tomorrow. You better be ready for tomorrow because I think he's going to get a lot well, of attention. Okay, listen, we're not, we're not, none of us ignorant. If they play in Buffalo and there's snow on that field and it's cold as crap, there's not going to be a whole lot of passing games going on. I don't know. They, 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 they went in I the snow. It make a huge difference. I understand that with the type of gloves they have today, but you still are not going to have the passing game that you would have if it was just cold. Well, of, of course not. But I saw them last year in New England, in the snow in New England, and they put and they put up they they you know they they put up some fireworks. So uh, he'll get most of it because it won't be Gabe Davis because he only averages three catches a game some most of the time, three for thir- three for seventeen or three for one seventy one. And here are your rushing leaders. And this is why I get so mad at Derek Carr. You got a top five receiver. And the top and the leading rusher in the league, and you still lose to Baker Mayfield, who's been with the Rams for 24 hours. That's pathetic. Yeah, I get it. It's the defense too, but that red zone and DD. I've been going. You know, shout out to my guy DD. That red zone interception he threw was terrible. It was terrible. 
terrible, absolutely just just idiotic. I, I like what I, I'm seeing from uh, Miles Sanders. I think Saquon Barkley, they're going to have to make a decision on him because this is really the best season that he's had, yep. you know, being healthy because he, he has been – Derek can The longest Derek. season he's had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, those are those are your uh, top five passing leaders. <clears throat> Winning streaks, and now that's seven games. 49ers are at seven, seven, seven straight wins. They're just running away, <laughs> running away. So Bengals are heating up, you know, in, in your AFC. I wanted to be posting some of y'all's comments, but I wanted to be able to see your names to post them up here on the show. So you need to do that little Facebook thing and, and fix it to where – It'll show your name. They were not. They were not. They were not. Says Mayfield is solid. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe Davis? Thomas Maselko says Hertz has six hundred and eighty-six yards rushing. Thomas Maselko too. And Jay Renat says Baker is solid. Ha ha ha. So these are your winning streaks. Um, uh, San Francisco at seven. Y'all better start giving this man his respect. Justin yeah. Herbert. Most passing yards and for uh, how, well, I mean, how he's, he's really, like two right now in pa passing leader, so yeah, or three. No, Mona, I said something, I said something on a show earlier. Uh, can you, ima can you imagine? Yeah, number two. Can you, can you imagine Who, if, if, Sean you Payton, if Sean Payton goes to, to, the, to the LA Chargers as their head coach? If he go, if he goes there, look out, look out what he did with Drew Brees. I think he could revive. I could, I think he could turn that franchise around because I'm still not sold on the Chargers coach. I'm just, I ain't sold on him. So, uh, congratulations to Herbert. I know people are like, well, he hasn't won anything. He hasn't won a playoff game. He, it's gonna come, guys. It's gonna come. You see the potential in the, this guy's tools. He throws the prettiest ball too. I mean, the guy, the guy's just got a rocket launcher. I don't. Between him, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes, I don't know. I, he may have one, a top three arm in the league. So that, that arm talent's off the chart. So uh, we'll see what happens to that. What we got next? Uh, there you go. Most consecutive games without a sack. We got to give the big uglies. A, the, we got to give the big guys a, a, a shout out. Uh, Lane Johnson, uh, Andrew, Andrew Whitworth, Dwayne Brown. And Ryan Claddy, you know, most consecutive games without allowing us 26 games. That's like that's like a season. What? 17, like a season and a half, a season, a season and a half. of not giving up a sack. I think that's pretty. Uh, I think that's pretty. Uh, Tua has a great arm. Stop it. Check your private chat. Stop, stop it. He has a great arm. Uh. So yeah, um that, Dalton is in here. Yeah. Well, so, he was. He yeah, may be watching the other live show that's going on right now during our show. Which oh, okay. Was kind of uh, um so shout out to those guys. That's a major that's a major accomplishment, you know, for those guys. I like to see guys that are able to uh uh you know offensive linemen don't really get a lot of uh they don't really get a lot of props. So, you know, with stuff like that, I like to, to get these guys props. Travis Kelsey, top three tight end of all time? Right now. And he may end up being even higher than that. If he wins another, if he wins another Super Bowl, you know, what he's what he's doing at the tight end position is just incredible. I mean, we've seen some, you know, when you think about tight ends we've seen in the past. 20 years, Gronk, uh, uh, Tony Gonzalez, uh, receiving tight ends where they just put up these monster numbers. Jason Witten. Uh, I do not hate on Tua. I love Tua. I think I think the biggest problem is y'all need to get some offensive line protection for Tua. No doubt about it. And the 49ers uh, exposed your offensive line. No doubt, about it. everybody hates on too. A poor guy has no. We just no. What we do is we just try to keep it real because some people, you know, when they're when they they get so caught up on a player and they start they start giving him attributes that he doesn't really have. Like two is not really known for his arm strength. I'm just saying. So 
congratulations to uh, Kelsey. I love watching him play. I just, I just think he's a silky smooth runner, uh, a silky smooth uh, pass, pass. You know, pass. You know, his, his, his routes are just incredible. So I, I love watching him play. Uh, what do we got next here? Old Travis, go Travis Kelsey. Uh, look, um, I got to give Philly. I'm a Cowboys fan, but uh, I got to give Philly their props. Let me tell you something. They are a scary football team this year. They, they are. Really are. They, they really are. I have it's to, all going to come down to Christmas Eve. It is, yeah. you know. Picking up, picking up AJ Brown, getting him from the top. That's another reason why the Titans GM got fired. He got fired too. You cannot make moves like that, man. And get rid of all your talent. Yeah, you can't do that, man. You, you just you, you got rid of Johnny Smith. You got rid of that guy. You got rid of Donta Foreman. I wouldn't have got rid of Donta Foreman. And Miles uh, Sanders is killing it. Miles Sanders, probably the best back they've had since Shady McCoy. You know. The the Eagles, but the Eagles have and always he's still got four more games. He yeah. has still got four more games. So where's he gonna end? 14, 1500 yards. Because he I think he's at like 1083 right now. So yeah, it's uh I, I I like what I see there. You know, again, I I I like watching good football players play and, and Miles Sanders, you know, uh, he was a backup to and specifically uh say, running backs. Uh, I, I, I'm a little, I'm, you know what? I can't even lie, Mona. I'm, I'm a little uh, impartial to backs. I, you know, it's the position I paid. I, I, I probably have a little bit of favoritism when it comes to running back. So, uh, shout out to, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I Jay, so, yeah. Philly will choke versus Dallas, but Dallas will choke versus the Niners. It is the NFC circle of life. The circle of life. Okay. I'll, I'll say, hey, they got to, you know, they the 49ers roughed us up really bad last year in the in the playoffs. They roughed us up pretty bad. Give me some digi notes, Mona. Actually, I have a few of them today. Uh, okay. All righty. So Tyreek Hill is the only player in super in the Super Bowl era to record a touchdown in each of the following ways: receiving, rushing, kick return, punt return, and a fumble return for a touchdown. And he did it all this year. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Like I said, Tyreek is just, the guy is just wonderful. He is definitely the cheetah. Um, next up, Jay Jet only needs, and you just mentioned that earlier, 133 uh, yards to top Randy Moss, the single season franchise record. So, and, and, most likely we'll do that this weekend or could come close to doing it this weekend. So um, next, did you know the Bucks scored 31 points in the fourth quarter of their game against the saints this past season, their first, their last game against the saints. Uh, they scored six points total in their first three quarters in both of those games. And Tampa Bay won both of those games. So I just, I think that's pretty dick and impressive. It just it just is. You, you can never, ever, ever count Tom Brady out if there is not at least a two score game away and you leave him a minute left on the clock. You just can't do that with Tom Brady. I don't care who he's playing against. You can't do that against Tom. Uh all right, so did you know the Jags have lost 19 straight games against NFC teams? The last 19 NFC teams that they have played against, they've lost those games. All right, among all NFC quarterbacks, Geno Smith, who we were just talking about, uh, ranks top two in passing yards with 3,169 yards. Uh, passing touchdown, 22. Passer rating of 108.7. And a completion rate of 72.7. So, you know, Gino, I, I think he is in the running for comeback player of the year. He's definitely in the – he's definitely in the uh, – I think between him and Saquon Barkley, I think those are your top right. two there because 
Barkley, a lot of his, uh, you know, injuries and stuff like that. I could de- – but Gino, a lot of people had him wrote off as a as a bust. I think Barkley was more for injuries. But for him to go there and find a home and a, and a play, you know, he was drafted by the Jets. And to yeah. finally kind of have a home, he's kind of been a backup bouncing around. And, you know, it's nice to, it's nice to see him having a little bit of success. All right. So, Baker Mayfield playing quarterback for the Rams – and this was, of course, last week when they played. Um, two days after joining the Rams is the shortest amount of time spent with a new team before playing at quarterback position. And, of course, 96 yards. 98. 98 yards yeah. down the field yeah. for a touchdown to win that game. So, cost of Mark is five hundred dollars on it. Cost my cost my co-host five hundred dollars. I just saw TJ Watt go out the window at that point. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we we still gonna do it. I just gonna ha- I'm gonna have to take it out. I'm gonna have to take my frustration out in fantasy football. Don't worry about it. I got you. Uh, Brock Purdy <clears throat> joins Aaron Rodgers as the only quarterback since at least 1950 to have a passer rating of 115-plus in each of their first two career starts. Pretty impressive. But I think he actually looks older than than the kid from the Jets. I yeah, think they, they, got that ba- they got that baby face, kind of like that baby face yeah, look. Yeah. All right, so now we're at the, our uh, Rocky Buyer Tough Guy Awards that we do every week. Um, and this is our basically the players of the week. Uh, and, and we usually, most for the most part, agree with. We're not always, but for the most part. Uh, so our offensive players of the week for the AFC is Trevor Lawrence, seventy-one point four percent completion rate, three hundred sixty-eight passing yards against Tennessee Titans defense, which was pretty impressive. Uh, three passing touchdowns, a passer rating of one hundred twenty-one point nine, and he also had a rushing touchdown. So four touchdowns in that game. That's pretty impressive. Uh, our NFC Offensive Player of the Week is Baker Mayfield <laughs> with that 98-yard game-winning touchdown. I'm sorry, Marcus. <laughs> I don't mean to be rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> he's still a bust. He's still a bust, but you get to play for a little bit longer. David Clark, he's still a bust. We'll see if he can do it. You're not. You're. You don't get rid of bus status just because you have one good game. Not by me, anyways. And and I think it, that's not what comeback player of the year is. Uh, Jay, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Defensive player of the weeks are our AFC uh, defensive player of the week is. Um, I I can't do his last name. Uche. Boucher, okay. Boucher, you remember? You remember on uh, the Water Boy, Bobby Boucher? Yeah. Adam Sandler's character, Bobby Boucher. Mama said, Mama said, he, I, the, the crocodile yeah, is so on. I couldn't stand that game. I could not stand that movie. I couldn't watch it. No, no, I can stand it. Bobby I like Boucher. The old one. I like the old. One. Bobby Boucher versus uh, minus the the B Boucher yeah, instead Boucher. of Boucher. Boucher. Okay. Uh, Carr is not a bus, somebody just said. That must be Dustin Davis. No, no, Jay. I said, uh, I said, Baker. Player, NFC Defensive Player of the Week is Brandon Graham. And yes, he said Baker Mayfield, not Derek Carr. Although he doesn't like Derek Carr either. Baker Mayfield is definitely a bus. He's definitely a bus. If you had to pick which one, if you had to pick between Carr and Baker Mayfield, <laughs> Uh, I probably I probably would roll with Carr. I, I I like bigger athletes. Derek Carr has good mobility. He's a little bit taller. Uh, now some of this too, I will say, uh, Baker. He played for the, the the Raiders are a dysfunctional organization. They're 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 a dysfunctional organization. But I will. But but here's why I would take here's why I would take Carr over Baker, because. Baker came into the league with all kind of weapons. They went and got him everything. You got you got Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt. They had Austin Hooper at tight end. You've got Njoku at tight end. They got Harrison Bryant. 
Harrison Bryant, who was the Mackey Award winner was in college, but Litnikoff is the best receiver. The Mackey Award, the Mackey Award winner is the best tight end in the country. And Harrison Bryant, you have awesome offensive line. You got Miles Garrett. You got, uh, I mean, you got all of these Denzel Ward. You got all that, and you still stunk. Derek Carr, he's you know. He's playing with Mark Davis. I still didn't like the way they did Baker Mayfield with the shoulder injury. I still didn't because he he came back even when he shouldn't have, in my opinion. And he tried to help that team succeed. And then they did the Deshaun Watson trade and just basically, I didn't like the way they did him. I have a bunch of family members who are Cleveland. I was born just outside of Cleveland. I'm not a Cleveland Browns fan. Um, but I did not like the way they did Baker Mayfield. I did not like the way they did him. That's so. the way they treat. That's the way they treat bus. That's what happens to you when you're a bus. You don't get rid. Do you like the way that the Jets treated uh, Sam Darnold? No, they got rid of him because they were like, "We made a mistake, and we're getting him up out of here. He's not a good quarterback." They, All right. All right, we're gonna move on. Special. <laughs> Because I agree with you about Baker Mayfield. <laughs> uh, our special team, I didn't like the way they did him, though. Uh, special teams player of the week uh, for the AFC is uh, Calais Campbell. Calais Campbell, right? Calais Campbell, yeah. Um, not Mason Rudolph out of the game. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I had to really let – I was reliving a few things. Uh, <laughs> um. And he, of course, got it with the block field goal in the fourth quarter. Uh, yeah, we won't discuss that. But anyway, all right. So moving on, NFC Special <laughs> Teams Player of the Week uh, is Eddie Pinero. Pinero, yeah. Okay, cool. I got it right. Uh, he scored 12 points for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, he was three for three in point after attempts and three for three in field goal. Uh, so, you know. Uh, and what was the final score of that game? Do you remember that game? I don't recall. I I, I don't. Recall. I think he scored half the points for him. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Whenever you got uh, Sam Darnold's your starting quarterback, that sounds about right. All right. So, and we have an honorable mention, and that would be Brock Purdy. He was sixteen for twenty-one, one hundred and eighty-six yards uh, passing, two passing touchdowns, and one rushing touchdown. So, da da. Now we have our Alphabet's Fickle League results, and I will post these in the morning. I, I forgot to post them last Friday, uh, but I was kind of busy replacing my floor. So, uh, <laughs> and kind somebody of, didn't remind me. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a big deal. That's kind of that's kind yeah. of a, that's kind of important. Yep, yep, that's true. Uh, so anyway, uh, right now, Flectron is just kind of running away with it. Uh, in our pick'em league, he's at 132 wins, 74 losses, and of course, everybody's pretty much everybody's got two ties, except for the people who started late. Um, we've got uh, Dominic is up at 126 wins. Uh, Dustin Davis is at 126. Mark Stewart's 124 wins. Um, let's see, we got Adam Aflag at 126. And Adam, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, you got to get with me and let me know how to pronounce your last name. Uh, Brad White's at 125 uh, wins. Angie Sanchez, 127 wins. Blaze, uh, Blaze, who won our Pick 'em League contest last week with 13 1 and 1, uh, is at 127. And then we have. Uh, Marcus is at 122 wins, and you're you're you seem to do pretty good there for a while. And then we have a bad week, like six and seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a run for it though. I promise you, I I, I will not feel so, I will not. As long as you know you're ten games back from Flectron. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. See, Flectron can't have everything because the success he's having in the picks, he's not having in fantasy football. So. Uh, when he didn't make the playoffs, so he better win that money in this in this pick'em. He better win the hundred in this pick'em league because he ain't gonna win it in fantasy football. So, congratulations! Uh, he better win. He better win that. Let me get our pick sheet ready. I used so, to have it ready, and I forgot to do it. We are ready for our picks. 
Mona, do you want to run the uh, the Buffalo Bills bottle? Uh, uh, yep. Hold on one second. Now we'll do that. Everybody's doing shows tonight. We got an Everything Buffalo show, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's having the show the same time we are. I see that now. So I just yeah. got tagged in a show. I just everybody kind of crappy since it, we know he knows exactly when our show is. It's okay though. We'll, no we'll, way. we'll I, after the show's over, I'm gonna have some discussions with some people. They may not like what I have to say too yep. much. Gotta be professional. Yeah, you don't have to be professional, but I, I try to be. You don't have to be. Uh, so we still got the the Buffalo Bills bottle. Oh, and we both did take Sam Brand in that game. Yeah, we both took Sam Brand. We still we still got the uh, Buffalo Bills bottle. I don't yep. know where Ethan just had to buy a new car. He said he was gonna buy some tickets from me. He had to buy a new car. He All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run that real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, let me stop the there for a second. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Bills Mafia. Don Brown. Yeah. It's the mafia, you know I'm rocking with the bills. It's the mafia, you know I'm rocking with the bills. It's the mafia, yeah, I'm with the Buffalo Bills. It's the mafia, you know I'm rocking with the bills. Hey, hey. Who you repping? What's your team? Who you repping? What's your team? You know I'm repping for my team. I got that talent on my team. Like a high Jordan boy, can you catch it? Can you? Trade day is like a mask, you're not catching anything. Mad Milano making plays, we not scared of any team. Best in the AFC, all the praise of Brandon Bean. You hear Sean McDermott clapping while I'm snapping? Do you? Jerry Hughes will get the sack soon as you snap it. Andre Roberts running back, ain't no just back in. Mafia, we on a ride and we got traction. We got BZ, we got digs. Dawson Knox with the stiff arm, treat opponents just like his Feliciano, Deion Dawkins, block defenders like the fans Hey, it's the mafia, I said no one on top of us I said no one is blocking us on top of our division So it's clear that it's no stopping us Google best team in the league and we popping up Hey, who you repping, what's your team? Who you repping, what's your team? You know I'm repping for my team I got a salad on my team It's the mafia, you know I'm rocking with the bill Oh, as soon as this show's over, I'm going to have some words with some people. It's okay, though. Uh, so, Mona, we both picked the 49ers last night? Yes, we did. Um, so, we got three. It says Sunday there. This is These are actually. Yeah, yeah, Saturday. they're not right. There's three Saturday games. My Miami. So, I guess they flexed it. That's what it was because it says TBD. They, they flexed it. Uh. So Miami at Buffalo, we're talking about seven inches of snow, uh, seven inches of snow. Uh, I think that it's going to be kind of I, – I like Miami. I picked Miami the last time. I just think this time here in Buffalo, in the cold, Buffalo – who's right now sitting at the number one seed in the AFC, I just think they're going to be highly motivated for that game. I think they're going to be highly motivated. Bills Mafia, they're going to probably be out there jumping through tables. They're going to be out there, uh, you know, they're going to be highly motivated. Uh, so I'm taking Buffalo. I don't think it'll be a high-scoring game because of the because, because of, the, of the weather. Because of the weather. Uh, I think Josh will try to throw it around. He's got the arm strength to get it around there. I'm going to say 18-14 Buffalo. Uh, I'm taking Buffalo as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go 21-18 Buffalo. Okay. I think there's going to be a possible defensive uh, score as well in this game. Uh, because you, I, I think that, it, it, especially if it's sloshy, wet, cold, 
you know, fumbles would probably going to happen and somebody could run in one in for a touchdown. So 21-18 yeah. Buffalo. Um, but I also do think that it could very well easily flip-flop and be 21-18 Miami. But I'm, I'm taking Buffalo because it's at home. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that that's going to definitely be an advantage. Uh, next game, we got Baltimore at Cleveland. No Lamar Jackson. Uh, Tyler Huntley just came off of concussion protocol, I believe. But I like Cleveland. I think each game, each game you're going to see Deshaun Watson getting better and better and better. Okay? I think – I like what I'm seeing from Donovan Peoples-Jones playing on the other side of Amari Cooper. I, I watched him. I'm like, oh, I really like what I'm seeing there. We know what Nick Chubb is. That defense is playing a little bit better, and it's in Cleveland. So I'm going to say I think this is another low-scoring game. I'm going to say 21-17 Cleveland. Uh Trying to find my damn picks again. Okay. All right. I am taking Cleveland as well. Um, Baltimore, quite frankly, should not have won last weekend. But, you know, you have a quarterback that throws three interceptions in the red zone. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm taking Cleveland um, as well. I think that it's going to be another one of those AFC North battle games. It's it's in Cleveland, uh, and I'm going to say that's going to be like a 17-14. 17-14. Okay. Uh, Indy at Minnesota. Uh Minnesota is in Minnesota. Minnesota is getting back. They're getting back a little bit healthier. They get Darius all back, their left tackle. Yep. Um, and then we, I, I think Justin Jefferson is going to be highly motivated this game. Now, he probably will be followed around by uh, Stephon Gilmore, but I don't give a damn. <laughs> I think – I think Justin Jefferson wants to break that record. I mean, he's still got time. He needs 133 yards. If he doesn't get it this game, he'll get it the next. But it's in Minnesota. He's going to be playing in front of his home crowd, and I think Justin Jefferson puts on a show to try to break Randy Moss's record. Um, I think Kirk Cousins, this will be the game here where he has a a, a really good game. I'm going to say 28-14. Twenty eight fourteen Minnesota. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm taking Minnesota as well. I, I think it's gonna be thirty thirty one thirty one twelve. Thirty one to twelve. Okay. Uh, Atlanta at New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans just coming off their bye week. Mark Ingram's out for the year. But yeah, nobody, knows what Ritter, nobody, nobody knows what Ritter's going to do. Nobody knows what Ritter's going to do. I think he's going to throw the ball around. Um, but I, I can't believe it. they got me over here. So showing Andy Dalton love. Uh, it's in it's in New Orleans, and I, I think I think this is an Alvin Kamara game. Alvin Kamara, I think he he I think Alvin Kamara puts on the show. Alvin Kamara got me kicked out of the playoffs last year. I think he had six touchdowns in a game, and he could have had a seventh and an eighth. So uh, I think Alvin Kamara, he's fully healthy coming off of the bye week. I think the Falcons are going to give him you know they're going to give him a I think they're going to give him a slight. Spark. I think Ritter's going to give them a spark, but I I like what I see from Andy Dalton, and I think I think um, Kamara has a good game. Uh, 28-24, New Orleans. 
and, and I just I don't know that it's going to be that close. Um, I'm going to say 28, 28, 14, 28, 17, 28, 17. Give me 28, 17. 28, 17. Okay. Uh, what do we got next here? We got New York Giants at Washington. Uh, I think this is, I think this is a game tomorrow. I think this is a game tomorrow too, one of the Saturday games. They flex. There's only, they, there's only three games tomorrow, right? Yes. You know, on a Saturday though, they have three games on a Saturday. I think this is one of them too. I, I like what I'm seeing from Washington. Chase Young is playing better. I like what I see from Brian Robinson. And I think they stopped the run. I think they actually stopped the run. And and really, the Giants only their only yeah. chance is is to run Barkley. And I just don't think Washington is going to let them do it. It's at home. I think Rev T is going to be amped up. <laughs> I think Rev T is going to be amped up. So I'm sorry, June. If you're out there, June, I'm sorry. I'm going to go with Washington here, NFC East battle. I'm going to say. Well, Amir is a Giants fan too, right? Yeah, he, he is. But he's 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 pretty realistic when it comes to the Giants. Uh, I, I, and I like, I like Kurt. I, I like, I like, I like, I like Heineke. I, another close game, 17-14 Washington. Yeah, I think it's going to be close, like 18-17. I think it's going to be a field goal at the end of the game. I think they try to stop Saquon, but they can mix it up a little bit with some a little bit of passing game, and and probably Saquon's probably still going to get you know 75, 80 yards. Um, but I still think Washington pulls off the win. Philly at Chicago. I, Blood back. I know. I think this is going to be a blowout here. I think. I think Sanders has a good day game. I think AJ Brown has a good game. They get back Dallas Goddard this week. Yep. Uh, and really, all Chicago has is they lost Mooney for the year. I think I could see Philly's defense scoring a touchdown in here, in this game. You watching the comments, Steve? I, I wasn't. Um, Thirty-five. 35, I'm being very, 35, 12, 35 to 12, Philly. I'm going to say 41, 9. I think it's going to be an absolute blowout. I think Philly defense get, gets after um, uh, Justin Fields. Justin Fields and uh, just tortures him. Uh, let's see here. Miami 2017. You just, you are just the gift that keeps giving, Jay. You are the gift that keeps giving. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that kind of a high scoring game in Buffalo. 27 to 10. That's You're saying they're going to score four touchdowns in, in seven inches of snow. Okay. Detroit at New York Jets. Did you see what Detroit did last week? I did. Jared, Jared Goff put, but he put up a show. But and have I you been it, watching Jared Goff? He's been playing. He's, he's been playing. He's, he's been, been playing really, really well up there. I look. I you know what? We discussed this before. When you go to a new place, new scenery, sometimes that revives a player. And I think Jared Goff has been revived. And and. Detroit's defense is playing well. They're playing Aiden Hutchinson. If it wasn't for Sauce Gardner, I could very easily see Aiden Hutchinson being the defensive rookie yep. of the year. I, I don't think he wins it. Both of those guys are going to be playing lights out in this game. Here we go. So is it Miami? You don't think Miami doesn't want this? Don't be surprised if Allen has a bad game. Miami 20, 20, 20 you're sick. There's six points per touchdown. Or seven, if you want to, you know, if you just want to include the, the the extra point, it's set seven points a touchdown, and you're saying twenty seven. You're saying four touchdowns in seven in seven inches of snow. 
for a team that's an outdoor team, a warm weather team that plays on grass in Miami, and you think you're going to go into Buffalo in the freezing cold on the snow. But let's not. Let's, see, but but let. Come on, let, man. But let's also talk about Buffalo is not really a cold weather team either. They're they're not they're not a cold. They're more so than you, the Miami Dolphins, but they're more a day on the way that team was dome team. built. They are a dome team. Yeah. But I just think Miami's a speed team. And in that cold, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be doing no kind of speed. Mostert's hobbled, Jeff Wilson Jr.'s hobbled, Tyreek Hill is hobbled, and so is Waddle. Yeah. So I look, I if 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 Miami were to win, it ain't gonna be by no two touchdowns. 17. I think, it, I think it's you, think, you really you really you really think that you're gonna beat them by 17 points in Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a two or three point game. Seventeen points. You're gonna. You think they're gonna beat them by seventeen points in in Buffalo? Look, I look. I you know everybody know. I I, I know what my label that I the the label that I get from people about Buffalo. But I I I'm realistic when it comes to them. You think you're gonna go to Miami on a or Saturday on a Buffalo, short week, to Buffalo? Yeah, yeah to Miami. I mean, to um, to Buffalo. On the road in the snow, on a short week, and beat them by seventeen points. If you believe that, then I have some beachfront property for you to sell you in, in Ethiopia. I got some beachfront property for you in Ethiopia. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna go Jets. I, I, I like the Jets defense. No, Zach Wilson story. No, no. I'm going to go Detroit. I, I just think Zach Wilson's going to do something to cost them the game. And I know he's going to go out there probably. I will say this. If they had Brees Hall, I would take the Jets. Yeah, I, I like what I'm saying. I think the Jets defense will keep them in the game. I'm going to say. And Sauce very well could be the. X factor in this game. Yeah, but I, I'm taking golf and the and the Lions. 18, 18, 14 Detroit. Oh wow, really? Yeah, I, I'm I'm taking Detroit, but I'm I'm taking Detroit. Uh, twenty four, fourteen, seven, twenty four, seventeen, twenty four, seventeen. Okay. Pittsburgh at Carolina, Sam Darnold starting. <laughs> and we have no clue who's starting for Pittsburgh. I don't know who's starting. I don't know who's starting for for Pittsburgh, but I but do. We do play well on the way this year. We've been playing play. really well on the road. <laughs> Carolina doesn't have a lot of offensive weapons. They're going to try to run. They're going to try to run Deontay Foreman down your throat, and I just yeah. don't think Pittsburgh is going to allow that to happen. I don't think they have the offensive firepower. Y'all's offense is kind of abysmal too, but their their offense is even worse. I think our defense so, is better than Carolina's defense. Yes, it is, and that's what I'm saying. I think I think the the difference in this game is going to be the defense. Uh, another low scoring affair. Yep. Fourteen to ten, Pittsburgh. I got seventeen fourteen, Pittsburgh. <laughs> seventeen fourteen. <laughs> um, Dallas at Jacksonville. I, I know what y'all are gonna say. Oh wow, Dallas looked like crap against Dallas looked like crap against Houston last week. I think they came out. I think they overlooked them. They're at home. Houston's just gonna lay down, and they came out and they played sloppy. Yep. They get back Tyron Smith this week. I've heard Tyron Smith is going to play right tackle since we lost Terrence Steele. Uh, T.Y. Hilton makes his debut. I think maybe he makes a play, catches a long pass or something like that. He's you're going to they're going to say T.Y. Hilton's name somewhere in this game. I think Dak Prescott's focus. He hurt. He's hurt. What the people say, and I think I think the defense. Trevor Lawrence. He had a concussion a couple of weeks ago. He's coming off a, a little slight injury. Um, and I just think that 
I think that Micah Parsons gets after him. I think, you know, with the with the performance they had against Houston last week, I think Dallas, I think Dallas rolls. They've never beat, I did not know this until the other day. They've never beaten Jacksonville in Jacksonville. They've never beaten Jacksonville in Jacksonville. That this this time of the year, but this but, is this 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 could really hurt you guys. They cannot oh, overlook this head. game looking. They cannot overlook this game looking for the Philly game. Here's the here's the other thing too. Now, yes, Dallas has beaten beaten them on the road in London, but they've never beaten them in Jacksonville. Is from what I hear. I'm gonna have to research that, but. I, I can't think of the last time they don't play them that that often. They they really don't play them that often. You know when you're, um, you know. So we'll see. I'm gonna say thirty one, thirty one twenty one Dallas. I got I got Dallas winning twenty eight twenty one. Okay. Arizona. Wow. Arizona at Denver. I'm sorry. Kansas City at Houston. Blowout of the week. 42-3 Kansas City. I'm not even going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, I think actually Houston scores because I'm just not sold on Kansas City's defense. I'm going to say 41-12. Okay. I think Travis Kelsey has a hell of a game in this game. That was going to be my survivor pick for this week. I've been saving them for this game, and I'll lose because Derek Carr. Arizona um, at Denver. <laughs> but you got the you got the offensive explosion of Colt McCoy versus Brett Ripien. That's going to be the starting quarterbacks for this week in this game. No Kyler Murray, no Russell Wilson. Brett Ripien versus Colt McCoy. I trust Colt McCoy. And I trust Colt McCoy just a little bit better. Another low scoring game because Denver's defense. So we don't know what Ripian is, and nobody's got. Do they have film on this kid? No, they, they not a lot, not a lot. But I trust like Colt Denver's McCoy. Denver's got so many people missing on that team. Yeah. No um, running game. 20, 21 14 Arizona. Um. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. 21-21-21-14. I'm gonna say twenty, twenty-one, twelve. Twenty-one, twelve. Yep. Tennessee at Chargers. Yeah. Tennessee got smoked last week, man. Jacksonville beat the brakes off of them last week. They really roughed them up. I saw Derrick Henry get his get blasted last week. I think the Chargers are getting healthy. They're getting the chart. If the Chargers make it to the playoffs, let me tell you something. If the Chargers make it to the playoffs, and they lost a lot of people, they lost JC Jackson. That's the thing that people sit that, just talking crap about Herbert. But Herbert played great last week. Tennessee, I don't know if that defense can keep up with them. I don't think they have the speed, and it's in it's it's in LA at SoFi. Um, I think Justin Herbert has an incredible game. I'm going to say 35-21 Chargers. Uh, 31-17. After Henry took that hit on that sideline. Yeah, he wouldn't. He didn't get up real easy. Yeah, he got he got he came he kind of got spun around and somebody put their helmet right in his chest. Cincinnati at Tampa Bay, I think I think Cincinnati's clicking. Tampa Bay, I I, I like what I I think Cincinnati's starting to get their momentum. That run game, Jamar Chase, T Higgins. P. Ryan, Joe Mixon. I mean, they're starting. To, they're starting to get their their, and 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 they're healthy. And they're and they're healthy. They're they're finally starting to get a little bit healthy. Um, and and Joe Burrow's he's playing he's pl playing pretty good. Um, 30, 
30 to 20 Cincinnati. Uh, I'm going to say 28, 21 Cincinnati. Okay. New England at Las Vegas. I'm, I'll, I'll never, I'll never trust him again. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll never trust him again, ever. New England, New England, seventeen fourteen. Derek Carr will find a way to piss down his leg. And I am taking the God. I and I said I wouldn't take him never again, but I am actually taking the Raiders in this game because I don't think that the Patriots have a, an answer for Josh Jacobs. Uh, and if Carr can't get it to Devontae Adams, it's going to be a Josh Jacobs game. So Thank I'm you. taking the Raiders. Uh, and I think I think they're going to be pissed off from losing that game last week against the Rams. And I think they're going to take it out on New England. Okay. So I've got the Raiders 20, I want to say 24. I think Devontae Adams has a good game. I think Josh Jacobs has a good game. 24. Uh, 24, 8, 24, 17. 24, 17. And the Monday night game, LA Rams at Green Bay. I, I don't, I don't see Baker Mayfield having two good games like that. He kind of snuck up. Well, that's not, let's keep it back. If Green Bay can get their offense going, their defense is pretty that going good. Yeah. Um, they get back Romeo Dobbs this week. Christian Christian Watson's been playing very well, and you got uh, Aaron Jones. I don't, the Rams no no air. Only the Raiders would lose that game. Only the Raiders would lose lose that game with no Aaron Donald, no A. Sean Robinson, no Matthew Stafford, no Cooper Cup, no. <laughs> Uh, Green Bay 20, 21-14 Green Bay 21-14? Yeah And I've got Green Bay as well Uh Twenty-four, seventeen. I think I've used that one a lot. In yeah, games. but it's okay. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, save as. And that is it. That's it. Um, we still got tickets for these. This bottle. Let me uh, you know if you want tickets. Hit me up, Cash App, if you want a hoodie like Miss Miss Die Hard has there. I can oh. put pretty much any color together. I had that was specially made for her because she is a Steelers fan. I had uh, shout out to Ben Avila. Yep. Shout out to. Uh, uh, shout out to my guy Dominic Askew, Smell and Smoke Barbecue. Shout out to um, um, shout out to all my people's show sponsors. We really appreciate you all. Um, we really, we really appreciate y'all. Mona, last words. Just want to tell everybody thanks for for showing up and and watching the show and supporting us. Uh, you know. Uh, I know there's been a couple other shows that went live while our show was still going on. And uh, so we lost some viewers at that point. And I get it. I understand. But, uh, yeah. I, I understand a lot of people are trying to do shows because they're Saturday games tomorrow. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk to that. 
We'll talk it out. It's all good. Uh, appreciate y'all. Enjoy the games tomorrow. We may be doing something Sunday Sunday night. We might still might be doing something Sunday night, Mona. Maybe, maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. Maybe we'll tomorrow talk. Night. We'll talk about it. So we'll put it up on the group page. Make sure y'all make sure you get your sheets in because the game. There's three games tomorrow. Don't yep. miss out on three games tomorrow. So make sure that you, I, I'll put up. I'll put up something in the group page. But get your sheets in now. You really got to get them in because it'll have been four games. Your Thursday night game and three games on Saturday. Don't miss out on four games. So. Yeah. Um, it's a really close competition, and uh, you don't want to get left out because you, you didn't fill out a sheet on time, okay? So uh, y'all have a good night. Let me know if you want hoodies, T-shirts, if you want a bottle. Uh, I got a Philadelphia Eagle bottle that I'm about to put together real soon. Um, we'll make sure. Right, we'll show that one off too, yeah. Yeah, so um, we appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night. See ya. Count up, count up, count up, count up. I'm talking one milli, two milli, three milli, four billy, five billy. I'm ill. Money bag after money bag, I'm the man now. Play the cards that I was dealt and I ain't need no handouts. Fresh on every set, get respect. Mama out of debt, got a new connect. We the best, homie, run the check. Wifey got a new bag, new, new house, you, you mad. We just doing us, feeling way before we could do rad. This that no stress flow, nah. bobbing on my ex. Oh, she don't love cash, kiss my ass, baby ex. Yo, yeah. thank you for that line, Mr. West, but I'm next, though. Hey, you meet a set, bitch, I'm blessed, sipping next, so. For the love of money, I stay fucking hungry. I parted ways with the kitchen, that just wasn't for me. Every show they love me, now I'm showing love back. They, they ain't taking nothing from me, so I throw a couple stacks. Yeah. You in the mini town, have some fun, blow a bag. Yeah. With me when I'm around, trust me, shorty, I'll be back. Yeah. I've been on the come up, running to the ones go. Boy, I got that one up, hustle when the funds low. Sundown, the sun up, all I want is the cash. Now, homie, run me the stash. Put the ones in the bag, now count up. Count up. Count up. Count up.